<coughs> so today I'm dealing with a clog in the sink. Well, no, it's not a clog in the sink actually. It's a clog in the bathroom. So, so one of the ways I deal with the clog in the bathroom is I found this out after 10 plumber visits or nine. Nine or 10 plumber visits, $2,500 later, technically $3,000 later, I fill up the sink and then drain the water. And then as the water's going down, it will cause some type of suction that happens down the hall in the bathroom and unclog the toilet. It, I don't know why it works, but it just does. It is in the lease that it's the landlord's responsibility, but he said, nah, fam, he ain't doing it, or he don't wanna pay for it. So, I'm having to do it myself because we don't have any other location to move the business to. So we're kinda of stuck here until we find somewhere else to go. <laughs> This has been on, this is an ongoing issue though of things that he will not fix, such as the you know the toilet, the roof, the no 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 that's about it. Man, I hate getting this thing out because it sucks to use in more than one way. It's just so annoying, especially since I've been up all night. Extension cable tied up. <laughs> yeah, I've been up all night. And this thing is really annoying to use. The last time I used it, I almost lost an eye. It was crazy because like the thing like whipped back up into my face. And it almost did not end well, but I was able to dodge it like a champ. But this was, when I said technically $3,000, this was the additional $500 I ended up having to spend because after like the eighth or ninth visit, which, or rather the final visit that the plumbing company I was using um, came out, I, was, I, I just asked the worker, man, I was like, hey, bro. Can you, just, can you just tell me how to do it? Can you just show me how to do it? Because it was like $200 plus every time they showed up. If I never have to do this again, I'll be just fine. I hate this. I hate this so much. <laughs> All right, so that foot pedal here. Hit this thing like that. And then it spins. Now, I'm not gonna be able to put it at an angle, so at least I don't think it'll work that way. But I'm not gonna take no chances, cause like I said, this thing ain't dangerous. So now I use, okay, I gotta unlock it. That'll help. I'm not gonna pull it out. Now that goes in here. Okay, it's in the pipe. One eternity later. Okay, the toilet is able to be flushed. Oh, hallelujah. Now I gotta pull all this back though water running down the pipe. It's 
free flow. That's all the water is backed up. Huh. I'm tired. Yep, I will be okay if I never have to do that ever again. Five minutes later. Hey man, shouts out to the plumbers out there, man. Don't ever let nobody tell you your job is not hard. But don't ever let nobody make fun of your job, man, because uh, this thing is real. If I had more money, I'd call y'all every time. That's where I would. At one point, I did. And what ended up happening was uh, the plumbers that we had, they kept snaking the line going back towards the building. And what was actually happening is that there was actually clogs happening going towards the sewer, or going towards the street, rather. So basically, once I finally got out here and did it myself, I was able to finally get the problem permanently fixed. And it's not really even permanently, it is like, it's, it's been like, I wanna say last time I called it was like November or a little bit before that. So, eh, you know, I ain't too bad. <laughs> Good job. 